Welcome to my dearest theories. What? My dearest theories. Um, repeat that. My dearest theories. Oh. oh okay. okay. Hey, you guys. It's Watcher Ralph, and this is another video of my dearest theories. Now. We're going to cover Blacklist once again. The one question that's lingering on our minds, at least as of this season, is who's in the bag? Of course, that's a play on what's in the box. And of course, it's really who's inside the suitcase, but, you know, it rolls off the top of the tongue a little bit better like that. Who's in the bag? But, um, let's see. There's been a lot of questions of who could be in there. And if you've seen this scene with Tom Keene, he's one of the only people to find out the truth. But unfortunately, of course, that's why he had to go. So let's just jump right into it and figure out who's in the bag. Well, the answer is Raymond Reddington. Whoa! And this might be an explanation for why Ian Garvey cared about the body in the suitcase so much and why he told Jennifer that based on the evidence in the suitcase, their entire lives of trying to hide her away was pointless or at least based on false information. Hmm. So again, that would be the case if... Raymond Reddington is who's in the suitcase. Well, if you want the answers to why and how that's possible, go check out my other video where I answer the question, is Raymond Reddington an imposter? So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of this theory. Let me know what you think about the overall show. But for now, share, like, and subscribe. And you could check out other of my dearest theories by clicking over here. And you can check out how my rating system works by clicking down here. Until we meet again, goodbye. See you guys.